Come here, you guys. Figured I'd show you this. Uh, last Friday, my niece was sitting here. My brother showed up. We were sitting here talking. And she was building this little tank. Just took a piece of scrap foam and started carving it out. Well, then she started asking suggestions, which just set me and Rick right off. Next thing you know, she's putting cardboard fenders on it, making the turret so it turns, doing a little more carving on it. It turned out pretty cute. I mean, not bad for the first thing she made. First vehicle like this. She thought it was so good, she made another one. Well, during this process, she sort of issued a challenge to us that we couldn't do a better tank. Well, we thought, yeah, we can. So Rick and I started talking. She says, well, can't be no bigger than an index card. So we measured it. Hers is two inches by four inches. So we agreed to stay in that range. Rick said, well, I can do that. I said, well, I know I'm going to do that. So, this is my first attempt. I went with the orcs, made me a little battle wagon, put a lot of plating on it, big old gun, couple cannons out the side, some sprayers, flamers, big old steam engine to power the beast. Big fangy tooth. Ah, well that turned out pretty cool. All this was from stuff around the house. It's a piece of foam and card stock. You know, cardboard. Well, with a few plastic bits. Well, that one turned out so cool. I named her the Toad Licker. Figured the orcs like that. I had to make me another one. The Swamp Slug. A little bit heavier built. It went like a sixteenth of an inch over the four inch ruling, but that's easy enough to fix. Went bigger with more cannons. Big main cannon protected by massive horns. The Swamp Slug. Now Rick said, I just talked to him today, he says he's in the process, he won't tell me what he's making or anything, so hopefully we can post another video and show you. Jasmine sort of got a little upset because I went orky, but we'll see.